Thank you for choosing Emory's Memories 3D Casting Kit. First, let's begin by reviewing everything included in your kit. Emory's Memories 3D Casting Kit includes 1. Bag of Step A Practice Molding Powder 1. Bag of Step B Practice Casting Powder 2. Bag of Step A Molding Powder 2. Bag of Step B Casting Powder 1. Container A whisk A finishing kit A tool kit A welcome letter And an instructions booklet Here are few items that are not included but recommended. A mixing bowl, a measuring cup, drinking water, an electrical whisk, a spatula, a baby oil, a scissor, newspaper and a bin liner. Let's start. Step A. Practice kit making the mold. Firstly pour 90 ml of cold water into the disposable glass given and then add the step A practice kit molding powder and mix with the help of spoon. Next, before the paint color of the mix completely fades, insert one finger into the mold material in your glass. Make sure not to touch the sides or bottom of the glass. Keep your finger in the molding material until it loses the color and becomes non-sticky, rubbery and flexible. Once the material is hardened, wiggle your finger and the suction sound is broken before pulling out the finger. You will then move to step B which is pouring the casting stone powder. Pour casting stone powder to 1 tablespoon of little more water into the bowl and start mixing. It should be pouring creamy or paint-like consistency. Immediately pour the casting powder into the bowl. Allow it to harden for 2-3 to three hours. We'll now move on to step C, practice kit, finishing your cast. After 2-3 to three hours, you can remove the practice mold from the glass. Start peeling the molding material with your hands to reveal your practice casting. As the practice is done, we are now ready to make our mold for hand casting. Step 8. Making the mold Measure out exact cold water and pour into your empty molding container. 
The exact time of the molding material is controlled by temperature. Slightly cold water, 21 degree to 24 degree Celsius, works best as it is comfortable for most people and gives 3 to 5 minutes of total set time. For more working time, 5 plus minutes, use colder water than 21 degree Celsius. Do not use warm water as it will cause the material to set very quickly. Timing starts when the powder enters the water. Tip Practice positioning the hand in the container to make sure it is on the table and not touching the sides of the container. Massage your hands with a drop of baby oil. Once you are ready, empty the step A, pack 1 and 2, both packs of molding powder into the water and not the other way around. To make mixing less messy, add about 2 thirds of the powder into the water and mix for 3 to 5 seconds and then add the remaining powder. An electric mixer is best for mixing. Mix thoroughly as long as the mix is pink in color. Please note that the material will never be lump free. Before the pink color of the mix completely fades, Immediately insert the hand into the container by not touching the sides or bottom of the container. Once this happens, keep your hand in mold for another 45 to 60 seconds. When fully set, the top of the molding material will not stick to your finger when touched, should be spring back when pressed. The material is set. Carefully remove one hand at a time by wiggling it around. Be sure the suction is broken before pulling out the hand. Pull the hand out slowly and carefully. Now immediately move on to Step B Pouring the casting stone. Add the measured cold water into a glass mixing bowl. Pour the bag off step B, pack 1 and pack 2, both packs of casting stone powder into the water and not the other way around. Let the powder dissolve into the water and whisk until the mixture is like poury, creamy or paint-like consistency. Pour the one third of casting stone powder mixture into the container. Tilt the container in a circular motion to let the powder get into tiny small holes or fingertips. Then continue to add the remaining casting stone mixture in one or two more ingredients as you will take the container. Stir the remaining casting stone mixture in between pours as needed. Once filled, tap the sides of the container and or gently bounce the container. Allow it to harden for minimum of 6 hours and maximum of 24 hours to demon. Step C Finishing your cast. Put 
empty your container upside down and carefully peel the molding material away from the cast. Be extra careful around fingers as the cast is not at full strength until completely dry. Use the included wooden stick to remove small pieces of molding material from between the fingers. While still wet, this is the time to get your cast a touch up if needed. If there are any air bubbles or holes, open the finishing cake powder into the disposable bowl and add drops of water to get a paint-like mixture. As the mixture thickens and turns into patty, you can use your finger and apply small amount of casting mixture to the imperfections by rubbing across it. After you have fixed the imperfections, set it aside and allow it to dry for 5 to 7 days. Sandpaper is also supplied to round off edges and or to level up the base once the cast is dry. The cast is now ready to apply any acrylic paint. Once the cast is finished, it is perfect to save memories or a perfect one of a kind treasure gift or a great decor item for anywhere in the house. We would love to see your work, so make sure you post your photos or social media at hashtag embrace memories thank you